This is the plaintiff, Jacqueline Fields. She says she sold her deceased husband's pride and joy 1969 orange Chevy Camaro to the defendant, and he still owes her money, refuses to pay, and she has no other choice but to sue him. That's right. She's not going to let him get away with stiffing her like that and is suing him for the $430 she's still owed. This is the defendant, Joseph Allen. He says he likes to tinker around with cars and pay the plaintiff in full for the old beat-up Camaro. Turns out the plaintiff gave him the wrong title on the car. So the car was either stolen or she tried to pass off a title for another car on him. He has no idea why this woman's suing him because she got her money. He had to give the car to someone else and he owes her a big nothing. Thank you very much. He's accused of cheating a woman out of her money. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $3,275, the cost of the car. All parties, please, your audience. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case, on the dog of the plaintiff sold her deceased husband's 69 Camaro to the defendant and still hasn't gotten paid in full, but the defendant says the plaintiff gave him a wonky title. It's the case of the Chevy Chase. Thank you, Douglas. You're Jacqueline back. Fields, yes. you are suing Joseph Allen for $430. You say he still owes you on the sale of a Camaro. Yes. You have a counterclaim against her for $3,275 for monies you say she owes you, such as the money you put into the car, the money you paid for the car, and money you paid for a title transfer. All right, let me hear from you first. What's going on? On September 27, 2014, I saw Mr. Allen, my husband's car. It was a orange Camaro. What year? It was 69 and a half, 70 Camaro. How much did you sell it to him for? The original price was supposed to be $15,000 until we got to the title place. Then he said he could not afford it. It got down to $500. But if you were asking 15, why would you accept five? Well, because he gave me a whole bunch of excuses saying it wasn't worth it. He had to do all this work. But well, why don't you just find another buyer? For the sole fact that it was hot. With it was my hot? It was hot at that time. It was, wait a minute, where are you from? Philadelphia? Philadelphia? You don't know hot, all right? I'm from Miami, okay? You did nothing because it's hot, all right? So what happened? You just kind of decided it wasn't worth it? No. Were you paying to store the thing? Yes, I was. Okay, so you're out every month how much? $60 for, for the garage. So according to you, you sell it for $500. Um, and what does he pay you then? He paid me $70. Okay, and is there a receipt for the transaction? Is there anything? Okay. And then what happens? Then he stated that he would pay me the remaining. Once I got the title, I could not find the original title due to the fact that my husband's files were all in disarray. He said he would pay me the rest of the money once I got the title with the remaining balance of the four thirty. Four hundred and thirty dollars. Right. And then an additional five hundred once the car was sold in November. He agreed the car would be done by November. And that's what he signed the paper. All right, so what have we got? Okay, I, Joe Allen, will pay Jacqueline M. Fields $5,000 when we sign over title. Why is that written ever? That was never, 5,000 was never a figure. It was either 15,000 and then it became 500. So why is there ever something saying $5,000? Because before we signed that, he took me outside and said he could not afford that amount of money. All he could afford was the $500. Okay, but then he didn't cross out this and you didn't cross out this, the, the first paragraph that says I will pay five grand. You're telling me that the negotiation resulted in 500. Correct. Instead, what I'm seeing is a contract that says he's gonna pay five grand and then another 500. You're you understand what I'm saying? That's what this says. That's why I'm trying to figure out what this is. I didn't even think about the $5,000, to be honest. It was a $500. All right, so according to this, he paid $70. Correct. That's what he All paid right. me. According to you, you paid $600 <laughs> at the $600 site of the sale. The so why are you sale. signing something that says that you're going to owe $5,000 when she gives you the title and $500 more on November 30th? Why is that what you're signing? That signature is my signature. I don't believe that is my receipt at all. Why did you sign this if, if you're saying this wasn't there? That wasn't there. Right. So what did you do? Sign a blank paper? There was what? something else I signed saying that I, if, if I got the car running correctly and, and got it restored and made money on it, that I would... Oh, her, so no her. risk to you whatsoever. You just get a 1969 and a half Camaro and you get to play with it and you don't have to pay anybody anything. No, I paid... Was that I the thought, deal? No, the car was pretty beat up. 
I had to buy a lot of different parts. I, I don't care. Don't buy it. But what did you pay? According to you, you paid $600. 600, 600 Do you have a receipt for the $600? No, I paid for it. Do you have a canceled it. check? Not at all. Okay. I paid cash. That's the other part. That, where Where's your receipt then? Because cash shouldn't order. leave this hand without a receipt going into this Absolutely. hand. Absolutely. I don't have one. Okay. Um, so according to you, all he paid was a 70 bucks. Correct. All right. And then what? Then he just gave you the runaround from then on after? Every time I spoke to him, he either had his apartment broken into or his heater was uh, broken or he was having illnesses or he just had one problem after another after another. And then at that point, when I try did try to reach him, I couldn't get in touch with him. And then I had the lawyer... Send a letter. So in 2017, you had the lawyer send a letter to him. Correct. And in that letter, it says, you know, you owe X, Y, Z. It says the whole story. What happened when the lawyer sent you the letter? You That's didn't not true. What's not true? The lawyer sending me a letter or anything like that. Me okay, so wait, wait, hold on. So that I understand you. Are you saying you never received a letter from never a lawyer? Never received the letter. Okay. So you have a copy of the, the letter that the lawyer sent. Let's see what the address is. What's the address you were living at in 2017? 4413. Yeah, 4413? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's where it was sent to. So the lawyer, the lawyers are liars, too? I never got the letter. That's all I'm saying. Okay. You never got the letter. You didn't agree to pay any more money. And according to you, you are now counterclaiming against Ms. Fields $600, the amount you paid for the car that you can't prove you paid, mm -hmm. $175 for a title transfer, and $2,500 for the amount You've spent on the car. Just Explain why you're counterclaiming. Fenders and... and uh, no, but why would she have to pay you that? That's I'm what willing I'm to give her the car back. I don't even have the original... I don't have the title to the car. The, the title to the car isn't even... I never checked the VIN number. Okay, but when you checked the VIN number, what did you discover? I discovered that it wasn't the title to the, to the car. So are you saying she gave you a title, but it was to a different car? Yes, it was... Okay, do you a, have that title? It was... I just have a couple of pictures in there. Yeah, just of the title. Do you still have the Camaro? No, I gave it to somebody because it was I couldn't do nothing okay, so with it. So why are you it. saying I'm willing to give her the car back? Because I can't get the car back. The guy w it really wants the title. He wants to do what I wanted to do to it. it, it the work was just okay, too... Because so this is a picture of the VIN. Yeah, and that's a picture of a title. And according to you, this is not the correct title? No, that is not the correct title to that car. I'm going to run this and find out where this VIN comes back to. All right. 69 Camaro. Awesome or a pain in the butt? Total pain in the butt. It's 50 years old. Has anybody seen what a beautiful car this is? I have not, but I think it'd be awesome to own, terrible to drive. Yeah. Uh, okay, actually, fair point. Uh, going inside the courtroom. So, after a little digging, let me tell you um, what I know and what I don't know. He took a picture of what he says is the VIN on the car. What I don't know is if that's legitimately a picture of the VIN. But I do know this, the title that you gave him with the VIN that's on it doesn't come back to a Camaro. It comes back to a Malibu. So there is something wrong, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, all these years have passed. Mm -hmm. According to you, you, you realized the problem four years into it or something. Yes. I mean, how many years Correct. have passed? Right. Um, now, there is a way to solve that with DMV. I don't know what it will cost to solve that, but there is a way to solve that. Mm. So here's how I'm going to rule. First of all, I find that the defendant who cannot prove he paid you 600, the document says he paid you 70, the letter from a lawyer that I know was sent to him says he, that, you still, that he still owes the money. I find that he owes you $430 for the car. But I'm going to give the defendant 30 days to figure out and apply for good title to the car because he's entitled to that, okay? That's gonna happen with your cooperation because that's the, on the only missing piece here would be her cooperation in order for you to get it done. Mm -hmm. And from that 430, I'm gonna deduct what it takes to get it done. And by what it takes, I mean the fee to get it done. Not gas, not, not you know mileage, not a lawyer, not anything else, just the fee. So 30 days should be plenty of time because apparently in four years you didn't get it done. Mm -hmm. If you do not have proof of what you paid to get the good title so that it can be deducted by 30 days, I'm just going to assume that it was good enough for you the way it is. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? So you get what you want and you get what you want.
and what you're entitled to. So that's the only way that my clever little mind can think of to make sure everybody does what they're supposed to do. Everybody's got it? Good luck, folks. Thank you, Your Honor. So uh, the defendant was able to supply the plaintiff with good titles, so the case is closed. And for anybody who hasn't seen it, Google 69 Chevys. They are awesome.